Hi dear friends, in this video we're going to pay attention to the artistic aspect of Tai Chi Chuan. Tai Chi Chuan after all is a art. Especially chose to take a hard pencil. So if you look at the horizon, do it again, show it again, right? This is the horizon. This is the trunk of the tree, goes into the earth and then you have the roots going out in different directions, right? Oh, actually more beautiful also when you look at like this huh? and with the light with the hard pot pencil the, mm -hmm. the purpose is they want to draw water from from the soil and there's mushrooms in between and stuff like this so you know all these things so this is where the growth comes from yes i will come come back to that later right i'll come back to that later some trees yes they actually their roots start already above ground so they push themselves above the ground and they they move into the earth they move into the earth and the roots maybe go very deep, maybe not go very deep, but they split out, maybe they become very wide. The wider the roots, the higher the tree can be, right? The smaller the roots, the narrow, more narrow the tree has to be. So you have to think about, okay, I make, I make a tree, but my tree is uh, very narrowly shaped because the roots go very deep, right? So roots go very deep. That means that the tree, for instance, is like a Christmas tree, right? Christmas tree. You just take a very basic Christmas tree model, right? And it becomes narrower to the top. But at the moment when the roots are more wide, then automatically you start having like more like a globe around the tree. And you see the branches branching off in all directions to carry all the leaves. Yes. Then you have to understand that what it leaves do is they breathe in they breathe in the needles also they breathe in they breathe in right so this is just the basic shapes of uh, of trees so you know like okay this basic two basic shapes of the tree is like this even uh, with some trees they have leaves but they're very narrow very high right uh, <clears throat> but at the moment when you have this white one the trees are smaller so then the nature of the stem is different so if you have the stem from uh, uh, most needle trees they are a little bit like like this they are all like kind of curls because of the bark that is on it so the outside is has a little bit of a left so it's very easy you just make a drawing it's a little bit like the must uh, metal uh, with the swords that we use in kung fu then at the moment when you look at uh, other trees uh, they are very smooth but like for instance bark from uh, some trees is dark in some places and light in another place so it has more like spots see so that is very easy some some woods are very straight but some woods they continuously curl and they they move around this is a lot of chinese paintings they make this kind of use of these kind of shapes of wood right so <clears throat> you create basically the relief and the tree is continuously changing in shape like a bonsai tree a little bit so at the moment when you see the roots also the roots they go like see and then here you can still have all the leaves around it and you can create leaves by just making small curly things so that you know like this is leaves and on the outside is foggy right i know this because my eyes used to be very bad and i couldn't see any clear shape so i saw only gre green blurs this is where my idea from drawing trees comes from i could see the shapes but i couldn't see the details so so when i draw i still draw mostly just the rough outline and there's the the landscape so the landscape has first of all this is also very chinese yes <coughs> you can see that there is a, like a root this is where the root comes in and there's some grass growing there uh, the grass can be single grass can be a small bush or anything like that and there's a horizon there's always an horizon somewhere behind the tree so that the tree seems to stand in the depth you see that then there is a shadow let me take another one for this i take a charcoal thing i got this uh, set for my christmas <clears throat> so when I look at the charcoal thing, uh, what was I going to do again? Shadow. Oh yeah, shadow. So the shadow, if the sun comes from here, then the shadow is always on the opposite side, right? So the shadow is always on the opposite side. So you you can you can go with the relief from the different shapes. You can create like this shadows. 
and between the leaves also shadows shadows everywhere shadows because this is how it works and then with your finger with that white thingy or with the white thingy yeah that uh, saves your fingers from being becoming dirty you can spread it out and this way you create also depth in the tree see and you can do that with every line so you can f blur every line make it more fuzzy and more more shadowy like yes you see okay so you want to try some you try some drawing you, you draw it too i can yeah, yeah yeah you can from today you can you try yeah. I can't remember what you did. Just, just do something. Draw a tree. You will remember. Because your eyes can remember. Start with light and then go with dark. Just any tree? Mm. Any tree. Whatever tree you like to draw. Take it in front of you, maybe otherwise you're going to sort of see. Yeah. It makes it easier. Make harder lines with this. <coughs> These are roots that are already starting on the top, right? So they disappear partly in the floor. Very good. <laughs> yeah, making choices. Drawing is making choices. You're the king of your drawing. Some trees have even three or four colors in the bark, so it doesn't really matter what kind of bark you draw. Maybe you remember when we were in France and in Portugal, you had these trees, they had like three or four different colors. In the Netherlands, we only have one color, you have two colors. Yeah, leaves. You want to draw leaves? I forgot how. Okay, when you draw the leaves from a tree, is the tree stem very big and are the leaves very narrow? It's only with uh, a particular kind of willow, right? Where they cut off all the tree, all the branches every year. Why do you draw branches? Just the uh, branches always split. They go in different directions. Some have uh, branches with three splits, some with two. And so usually when you start tree, you just start making a split in one direction. Split in the other direction. And make some shadows. You can make wide, can make narrow. It doesn't really matter. Up to you.
when we do Kung Fu, it's exactly the same. Our body is like a, like a tree in that sense. So that means that we have uh, roots, we have uh, stem, we have branches, and we have uh, our leaves. And the leaves is the space in which we work. And the branches, that's our limbs. And the roots, these are our legs and our feet. And the trunk, that's our trunk. That's the chest of your body. Right? So are these the right... Uh, the right sizes for a tree. If you have a tree which has this big stem, you can expect that the leaves are all the way like this. You see this looks more natural, right? You see the difference? No. You don't see the difference? Okay, when you make a move with your arms, when you make a move with your arms, how far do you reach? Is it very narrow to your body, like this? <laughs> Still asleep. Okay, another secret. Show you. Go back. When you have when you have a Christmas tree like this, right? The branch, the branch, right? The leaves are actually spikes. So there are spikes on the outside. See, and you have with two spikes or with one spike see the tree cannot have tr branches with one spike or with two spikes and with two spikes only either one spike or two spikes yes so if you make Thank a detail you. from a tree like you have a tree hanging branch in front of you you have different branches on it they're either split sideways in the same way or they are split alternatively right and then you have the spikes on top but this is a tree with all the spikes on one side, on all one, one spike. And so you can make details. Yes, or you have them with two spikes. See? If you have a leaf, say this is a leaf from a tree. It's exactly like with the stem and with the top and the leaf is having a particular kind of shape. This is just a choice that I make. The leaf has veins going into the leaf. And each of these veins, they have side veins again, because every cell of the leaf needs food. Your body is exactly the same. So the channels in your body, the blood vessels in your body, all the same. They're all there to make sure that the whole of your body can be can find nourishment. So at the moment when you look at the tree, you want to draw it, you draw something living, something that you think, oh, this might be growing, right? So it's not just an object, like here, in this case, this is just an object, right? Because there's a strong, solid one like this. How can you make this alive? Um. It's the difference between 2D and 3D. You understand the difference, right? From movies and from cartoons and stuff. So this is a tree. This is a... I found when you make the different branches here from the root, see? Already becomes 3D tree. See, this is how easy it is. You create some hollow spaces in there where the mice come from in their leprechauns. Yeah? And between the branches is the same. So more branching, more branching. Every time the trees start branching off more and more things because they try to fill up fill up the, the the whole crown of the tree with all the leaves. They try to make sure that it works like that. It's the same like when you do Tai Chi Chuan or Kung Fu. You know, your arms have to be solid enough to make sure that the space around you is being maintained. So at the moment when you make a movement, you're maintaining space. You're not moving through space, you're maintaining space. That's your space, right? It's the same. So for the drawing, it's the same. The branches of the tree, they're there to maintain their space. This is what they can rely upon. This is where they breathe from. This is where they drink from. You get it? You want to try another tree? No. No? You had enough lesson for today? Yeah. Okay. 
So let's get a little bit deeper into this and we're going to try to see the practical application in Tai Chi Chuan and Qi Kung, where we can see the Yin Yang, the Jing, Qi and Shen at work. The Shen of course is your awareness so pay attention. The theoretical framework of Tai Chi Chuan and Qi Kung is way more important than the actual practice because without the right theory you can't practice very well. So at the moment when you are standing your body weight sinks downward. It's a simple, normal process. Otherwise, you will be flying if you don't sink downward. At the moment when you sink downward, there is this simple natural physics. The Chinese were very much aware of that. And this natural physics is basically the upward surge of the counterforce, of uh, the force of gravity. This counterforce is fog-like, like in the Chinese paintings. The downward force is a yang, it's an activity, right? And the counterforce also is a yang. And it allows this by not using the yin of your muscles. So at the moment when that happens, and at that moment the, the yang comes up, that's the counterforce, that's fog-like. And at the moment when this fog-like structure comes up, it fills up your body, makes your body larger. Because it fills up and you carry your body with this stuff. So then at the moment when you make your moves, you're the same like a tree. You have a crown and this crown is the space around you and your arms fill that space. Your roots can move because you're a moving tree. So then at that moment, you can go in any direction. At the moment, when you are practicing and you're using your muscles, like in uh, hard Kung Fu, uh, then at that moment, you tighten up your body, then the jing cannot be felt. So hard Kung Fu is more like how you use a car. Uh, this is the same with boxing. You use this as a car, even though you use the mechanics and you make everything follow up on each other in the right way, uh, then still it is like using a car. At the moment when you do Tai Chi Chuan, everything is organic. You are like a tree, you are like a painting. There is fog around you, there is vagueness, there is ambiguousness. And this ambiguousness actually eventually creates the chi.